have, an, I don't know if it's an iPad or not, but you have that, you have iPhone, you have all kinds of things like that. Everyone does. <laughs> not everyone, not yeah. everyone. But how is it that you, so 21st century, so technologically savvy and cutting edge, how is it you're interested in Baroque? You can, yeah, you can I mean, go back before that, but not an awful lot, not with your instrument. It's like people spend all day with this box, you know, that's very connected and electronic and everything. And I spend all day with this wooden box. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't do anything. It oh, just it resonates more, oh, it's more. <laughs> on its own. I mean, it's that's just right. inanimate and yet it has infinite um, colors and conversation mm -hmm. and, and it brings me to the, the deepest questions mm -hmm. about human existence. Mm -hmm. Which is awesome. <laughs> It started when I was playing a lot of contemporary music, like here in Syracuse at the Society for New Music, playing uh, solo cello. In fact, my first time that I came to Syracuse was to perform a modern piece by Steve Stuckey, who's a central New York... Uh, Icon. Yes, exactly, and he's a wonderful person and friend, and so we decided the premiere would be in Kaz, and um, I, you know, I've been playing this new music that was written now, and I wanted to understand, well, how did we get here? How did we get to this great genre of all these colors and richness? And um, so I, wa I wanted to understand the origins of this repertoire. I'm a, a constant self-improvement, learning, you know, I just want to keep going and going and going. I probably would get 10 degrees if, if I could, but it's, at some point you have to leave school and, and, <laughs> and do it, you know. Well, let's talk yeah. just a little bit about your schooling. Yeah. Um, Manus, right? Yes. Juilliard. Mm -hmm, masters, yeah. And uh, recently, fairly anyway, McGill University yeah. in Montreal, you have your PhD. Also, you were a Fulbright scholar. Exactly. That's some pretty heavy credentials. I, I'm How did lucky. all of that happen? Oh, I <laughs> yeah. think there's more. I, yeah. I find people, someone told me or someone said, the harder you work, the luckier you get. Probably true. Probably yeah. true. How important is education? Huge. I mean, uh, the, the ability to, to be supported by an institution and to have many people working for you to discover and explore what's important to you is uh, such a gift because it's worth more than money or anything beca because you need the community in order to um, find a lot for yourself. I, I hope that makes sense. And, and so that the, the support of many of these places, but more recently McGill, they, you know, provided the structure for me to do this project of learning about early cello music and then, you know, it was those people helped me make an excellent grant proposal and you know, organize myself to send it away and go do it. And, and that experience of, of learning about that repertoire and living in Italy and, and discovering the Baroque cello and, and practicing this old stuff. Um, Let me just interject yeah, here. Tell yeah. people how the Baroque cello is different from the modern cello. Is it different? Yes, um, I mean, they're very similar, of course. Um, but the main things are that the strings are made out of sheep's gut. Right. And, uh, and that has a whole As opposed to? Um, synthetic and, uh, yeah, more, and the top strings are wound with uh, silver or tungsten. And okay. we're on the, okay. on the Baroque uh, cello, it's just a g plain gut, right. sort of raw. And the the color, you give it a different, you give yeah, it a different growl sort of, to yeah, it, it, don't you? There's it's gritty, you know. It's sort of slippery you lean, and uneven. I mean, you it's, lean into that low, that yeah. low, low sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it has a different um, response and sound world. And and when the materials are different, the playing technique becomes different. And then the interpretation changes. They all influence each other. And then the the way I hold it is different. Um, it's the angle of the neck, the the shape of the bridge, just tiny little things that all add up to a different technique and a different color. Yeah, there's lots of things. It's really fun. It, yeah. Really. Yeah. Why is it so much fun? Just because it's it is different. Yeah, it's challenging. I mean, it's different. Um, so some things that don't work quite the same, and you have to really try to stroke it perfectly. Thank you.